Are you having difficulties registering and signing up for the HPE Networking Support Portal or NSP? In this video, we will walk you through all the necessary steps to successfully sign up for the portal. Go to networkingsupport.hpe.com and click on the sign up button. You will see a window asking for basic information like first and last name, email address and more. Fill out these details and click on create account to create a new HPE user account to access various HPE websites, portals and tools including NSP. You will now enter the onboarding wizard to set up your user account particularly for NSP. Click on Start Onboarding to initiate the process. The second step of the wizard is email validation. You will receive a validation link in the email you used to register for HPE earlier. Clicking on the link will validate your email and bring you back to the onboarding wizard to proceed to the next step. If you haven't received this email yet, you can click on the Resend Email button to retry the process. If you still don't receive the validation email, then reach out to customer support. In step 3, you can choose your primary account. The primary account is the account which contains all the devices, contracts and licenses pertaining to your organization. If you don't already have a primary account, click on Create and enter the name and description of the organization before proceeding to the next step. If your organization already has one or more accounts, we advise not to create an additional account, but instead join an existing one. Only create new accounts if you need to manage your assets and licenses separately from all the other accounts of the organization. If you are not creating a new account, you can skip step 4 and directly proceed to step 5. But if you are creating a new account, go through step 4 of the onboarding wizard for company validation. In this step, please ensure you have the company name and detailed address information to be used for validating and adding your newly created account. Step 5 of the onboarding wizard is the last step. Here. You must enter your personal details like country of residence, username, address and phone number. Some of the fields are optional. Accept the end user license agreement and click on the next button to complete the onboarding process. At this point, you can sign in using your new account immediately. If you had sent a join request to join an existing account in step 3, then you need to wait until an admin of the corresponding account accepts your request. Once they accept the request, you will be able to sign in using your account. At any point of the onboarding process, if you face any issues that prevent you from proceeding to the next step, please contact support to assist you. As you can see, we are enhancing the portal to make it more user-friendly than ever, allowing you to focus on the tasks that are the most important to you and to your business. Thank you for watching.